How's that feel, huh, Bobby? You ain't laughing now. Every available officer. We got ALs at the tolls, airports, trains, buses. Ronnie, Ronnie, this guy ain't gonna run. He'll sneak and he'll hide, but he ain't gonna leave Brooklyn. Now look, I'll feed you every dope dig and dive he's got. But let me do it my way. You just give me an unmarked and a shotgun, all right? Yeah, that's right. Give him an unmarked car and a shotgun, and that cop there, played by Steven Seagal, will find the mobster who killed his best friend. You know, usually, the superior officer, we think we know what his lines are going to be. I'm taking your gun and your badge away and taking you off this case, and I don't want you to get anywhere near it, but no, the guy says, here are the car keys. Go shoot it. But the strange thing is, Seagal Seagal doesn't seem to be a very good searcher as he looks for that mobster, and so even though his enemy is out of his mind on drugs and shooting up half of Brooklyn and driving around in a big car, with a bunch of buddies, Seagal can't find him until after he is engaged in at least four carefully planned martial arts sequences. Here's one of those sequences. Notice how the guys come at him one at a time, almost as if they've been choreographed. Scenes like this in Out for Justice are set pieces in martial arts films. They're like song and dance numbers in a musical. Ah! Oh! Oh! Tino, you fucking hey! It's incredible the amount of violence this character inflicts that has absolutely nothing to do with his search for the killer. Who's the box? Me. You the boxer? Yeah. You're a tough guy. Yeah, tough enough. Really? What could you do? To you? Yeah. The gal finally does corner the rat, however, and there's some neat dialogue as we try to figure out what their relationship is. What are you gonna do, huh? Huh? What are you gonna do? You gonna arrest me, huh? You gonna arrest me? I'm out of bullets! <laughs> That's a shame. Because those bullets could have saved you a lot of pain. I like pain, you know. Out for Justice is a movie with some real holes in it. For example, early in the film, Seagal pays his respects to the local mafia godfather, even breaks into Italian to tell him how much he loves him. He kisses him. Later on, though, he walks in and insults him, and I'm not sure why, and apparently neither is the Godfather, since the whole insult thing is then forgotten about and never followed up on. Another strange thing is that while Seagal is searching all over Brooklyn for that bad guy, in scene after scene after scene, the regular cops on the force find him. They find his hideout, they break into it with an armored truck, after which the guy runs away and escapes, and Seagal still can't find him. I mean, come on, Brooklyn is only so big. Then how do you explain that I like the picture? Well, maybe because it was so dumb and so I, silly that... It was silly, but there's something about this guy, and I've seen him in these pictures, and when I watch him on talk shows, I, I find him so unctuous, I don't want to go anywhere near his movies. Then when I go to the pictures, I, I enjoy them. He's, he's relaxed about himself as he enters into these choreographed sequences that you talk about. They're, they're kind of charming, they're fun. I think his stuff is just as good as uh, Charles Bronson or uh, Chuck Norris right now. In fact, I think this, actually the, the movies are more entertaining than those guys have been done lately. I think they're kind of fun. There, there are, you know, that he doesn't get the guy sooner, yeah, that's a major mistake. But um, I, I think that there's a charm to the guy that I think well, is... Well, I, I, you know, I've liked some of Steven Seagal's yeah. work, and this one is a, it's a thumb down. Down for me but it's not a, a movie that I hate there is interesting stuff about it he's interesting on the screen there's a long patch though in the middle gene where they have music and it's a montage of he's going around and talking to various people and he has to show that he is uh, uh, friendly with all different segments of the community everything from know? a mafia guy he's to friendly, the, he's so friendly with him he visits dog. the pool he visits the pool hall twice right. even the guy that runs the pool hall complains these people are always breaking in here and beating up everybody I mean it, it becomes repetitious after a while the search goes on I, so long. I guess I enjoy his work enough that um, I don't mind that he makes mistakes. Kill them all, let God sort them out. He must be a tough guy or something. Please, God. Let me run into this guy someday. 